I'm in Reno, Nevada for the Western States Conference of the Little People of America. It's where the West's dwarves come to meet and mate. Many friendships, romances, and whole families of dwarves can be traced back to encounters at LPA conventions. It's like a needle in a haystack when you think you want to marry somebody of your own stature. You come to these events, it's like all the needles are there without all the hay, you know, it's right there. So it's quite a rich environment for finding a mate. I was going to marry whoever I fell in love with. And I dated a lot of average sized women, but I did want to focus on trying to find somebody that was of short stature. And then when I found my lovely wife, Amy, you know, it was basically love at first sight. We met at a conference. Never, she was in Michigan. I was in California. Never would have met had it not been for LPA. Matt Roloff is president of the Little People of America, which was established in 1953. It held its inaugural convention here in Reno. When you see the dwarves, you notice the differences first, how they are so distinct. Some have stunted limbs, some bulbous foreheads, others have bent backs. But the curious thing is that the eye quickly adjusts so that very soon they seem to be just part of the spectrum of human diversity. In part, that comes from actually getting to know them. You quickly see that they are professionals networking, holiday makers relaxing, teenage girls flirting. They're just another slice of middle America. Dwarf is a perfectly acceptable term to LPA members, and it's scientifically correct too, although many gathered here prefer the gentler sounding term, little person. Short statured is politically correct, Dwarfism is politically correct. Midget is not accepted right now. It's not a term that most of our, a lot of our people are deeply hurt by the term midget. Primarily it's because of how it's used. Hey, look at the midget, you know? And it's sort of a derogatory tone in people's voice when they use it or say it. So that's primarily why I think that word has become negative in, uh, in most circles. <laughs> 